Ladies and gentlemen, in this video I will do something that has never been done before. <clears throat> I will turn an absolutely unique idea into reality. Have you ever wondered why he was running and what he was so afraid of? Well, today is the day. Today we will finally find out the answer. Today this pile of pixels will be upgraded first into the third dimension and secondly into a real game. Now, tell me, are you tired of all these first-person games? Are you also fed up to the teeth with third-person games? Stay till the end and you'll get your very own magnificent second-person dinosaur runner game. <clears throat> For free? As always, in all of my videos, we're setting up a challenge with three rules. The first one is that no coding is allowed. The second rule is that I only have three days to finish the project. And the third, which is the most difficult one for me, is that the game must be published. If you're making a game about a dinosaur, the first thing you need is the dinosaur model itself. So the first thing I did was try to steal a model somewhere. The easiest way would have been to download it from the Unreal Asset Store. Oh, never mind. Ok, let's try Google. Using Google to make a game about a dinosaur from Google Chrome makes perfect sense to me. And actually, I found a lot of free models, but all of them had some weird problems. I spent literally 3 hours of my life trying to make this work. And every time when I can't do what I want to do, I want to draw out my laptop and start a new life in the jungle with no computers, gadgets, technologies or even clothes. I remembered the wise words of my grandpa. If stealing something is harder than making it yourself, then just make it. But usually it's easier to steal the. So I opened 3D modeling software for the first time in my life and I made a pretty damn good Google style dinosaur and animated it. The whole process took less than 30 minutes. Thanks, Grandpa. I call him G Rex. Get it? G for Google. G Rex. <clears throat> anyway. I imported my new Dino into the project template and replaced Unreal Engine's dummy with it. Basically, he can walk, well, float. He can look around and even jump. And, well, it sounds stupid, but I'm making a second-person game out of a third-person template provided by the Unreal Engine. I thought it was going to be an easier and faster way to steal a template than to make a game from scratch. And it was not. Actually, I don't need a third-person camera, I don't need walking mechanics, I don't need anything that Unreal has in its template. Except for one thing. Jumping. I could have made the jumping mechanics in 5 minutes. Instead, I spent a few hours in total fixing bugs that were caused by conflicts between a third-person template and a second-person game. Genius. Anyway, now my G-Rex <clears throat> has animations. They're janky, but I'll polish them later on because the clock is ticking. Hello there. I'm working on our basic game mechanic. All that the dinosaur needs to do is run forward and jump to avoid poisonous cacti. Wait, is it twins from Atomic Heart with physically correct boob animations? I'm sorry, it's for my next project. Feeling something rising inside of you? So hit the like button with something hard and subscribe because my channel is really small and you'll totally miss the next video without this totally necessary actions. Back to the game. I presume these cacti are poisonous because, well, have you ever seen Jurassic Park? Have you seen T-Rex? Yeah. T-Rex is not afraid of some stupid cacti if they are not poisonous, of course. Anyway, the run and jump logic is ready. I'm able to adjust speed and height, of course, to balance the game out. And if the nemesis of T-Rex is cacti, my nemesis is the Unreal Asset Store and the so-called Quixel Bridge. Quixel Bridge, in theory, is a very cool part of Unreal Engine and Epic Games Store. Developers can get 3D scans of existing objects, for example, this cacti. But why this piece of <coughs> can't work properly? So, you're trying to tell me that I have an ARM Apple laptop with some kind of alien technologies inside? This aluminum plate can edit and render 8K videos allowing me to work with sophisticated 3D graphics. It can even run Noita in 15 frames per second. But it can't work properly with this simple catalog of assets, Epic Games. 
fix it please or send me some not apple pc i'm a big youtuber you know <clears throat> what was i talking about ah cacti it was hard but i got them look here is the first cactus and here's the second one i'd be happy to import a few dozen of them but even importing six of them was a real pain in the ass then i made a narrow trail and put a few obstacles in the way of g-rex and now it's my favorite part of all of my projects all two of them i'm talking about ragdoll physics remember when i said that i modeled a dinosaur in just under 30 minutes well i did a shitty job it turns out that the bones of 3d models should be placed in a specific order and not just dropped randomly so that's how ragdoll physics works with my model great job mr developer but i don't have much time so i hope i'll fix it later no god the next thing on my list is procedural generation and i hope real developers are not watching this video right now because the way that i made my role generator is a perfect example of how not to do it basically my blueprints count the distance that g-rex <laughs> yeah and then spawns new roads in front of him and all of these distances, sizes and timings I've calculated using, well, a piece of paper and a calculator. I believe it's wrong when calculations are done by homo sapiens instead of bare fancy laptops. Anyway, let's continue. I managed to adjust the animations to the dino's speed and legs look hilarious. It was pretty straightforward and I was happy, till the moment when the Unreal Engine went mad. Firstly, it became impossible to work with blueprints, and then the engine crashed, causing me to lose some progress. I'm starting to believe that the Unreal Engine is not made for game development. Maybe Unreal Engine here to remind me that living in a jungle without computers, technologies and clothes is actually an option. But long story short, now I'm growing cactuses on these nuts. Each nut is a spawn point that is attached to a road and the sophisticated logic spawns cactuses on different nuts depending on a lot of factors. Actually, random cactus spawns on random nuts, yep. So, we have cacti, roads and running and jumping G-Rex. And it sounds like the game is ready, right? Wrong. First of all, the game still looks like shit, but we'll fix it soon. Second, it's only a third person game, not a second person one. At this stage, I've also added logic to count scores and to accelerate the dyna as the game goes on. Look at this G-Rex. He's so freaking fast. Why? Because he's on a G Fuel, baby. Buy G Fuel using my special link. Alright, today we're going to add a second character because it's a still second person game, after all. And today we're going to uncover the main secret of the internet. Why is the T Rex the most powerful dinosaur ever running? What is he afraid of? And I can only think of one creature, it's another T-Rex. And this one is bigger, and he has a gun. And only now did I finally come up with a gameplay loop. Yep, being a genius, I didn't have any plan at the beginning of this project. So, first of all, we need to detach the third person camera from G-Rex. And this was the first time I actually got stuck. In the end, after hours of googling and watching YouTube tutorials, I turned to ChatGPT for help. I asked, and it refused me. Then I asked again, politely. And this magical network actually gave me clear instructions. I followed them in my blueprint and now everything works fine. Then to this camera I attached my second character. It's only a giant set of jaws and we will place it on top of the camera. Now my game is actually a second person game. I could just add textures and lighting and declare my project finished. But I remember the third rule of the challenge. The game must be <laughs> So, to make my game less boring, I'll add a lazy gun. I quickly set up Raycast logic to register hits, but it's kind of unfair to shoot my little G-Rex <clears throat> yeah, in the back. So instead our second character is going to shoot cactuses to help G-Rex run. Why is he helping him? Well, I'll leave that for you to figure out, because I have no idea. You know what? I can't stand this black void anymore. Let's add lighting, textures and the desert itself. I've grabbed a few materials from the magnificent Quixel bridge, added this yellow fog that looks like a sandstorm and adjusted the sun. Nice. 
nice. Final touch, I need particle effects. And in this project, I almost didn't steal any content. So I thought that I could make my own handcrafted Hollywood great special effects. One eternity later. <clears throat> yeah, I guess I guess I'll have to steal this time. But it's easier said than done. Look at this circle, a perpetual motion machine in action. Anyway, I'll skip the boring part. Here is my laser and that's how it works. I've added some UI, a score counter and the bar that shows player the amount of energy in the gun. We need one last thing. Main menu screen and some buttons. I've had a crazy bad experience with artists on fever. I shared the details somewhere in my last video. So, as my grandpa once said, use a neural network every time you can. Some. So, stay with me on this one. I asked ChatGPT to generate a text for a request to another neural network, the Lee, to generate a picture. And this is what I've got. <clears throat> it looks awful. Stupid ChatGPT, useless piece of shit. I can write a much, much better request. Oh, never mind, never mind, forget it. We'll use the previous picture. I dropped the blueprints logic and... Is it ready to be published? No. This game needs some sound. I'm running out of time, so I quickly added some action music, sounds of steps and the sound of a laser beam. And here it is. Three days, no coding whatsoever. Compiled and ready to be published. Dino Run 3D. Behold! So, you've seen the game and if you still want to try it out, there is a link in the description of this video. It's even compiled for Windows and tested using a Windows PC. Of course, it's not a ton of fun and it has some bugs, but it's a game that one person with almost no game development experience made in 3 days. Please leave a comment about my game, I am reading all of my comments, all 5 of them. And like, subscribe, see you later.